Hello everyone and welcome to my Screamathon wrap up. I read two of the books that were on my TBR for this readathon. The first one was Eaters of the Dead by Michael Crichton. This was made into a movie called The Thirteenth Warrior, which I have not seen, but you might have heard of it. I was really hopeful for this book, but I ended up only giving it 1.5 stars. It takes a manuscript from an explorer around the year 1000 who on his travels meets with different cultures and describes them in a very dry way. And Michael Crichton took this manuscript and the basic horror elements of some of the strange things that the explorer saw and supposedly tried to turn it into a retelling of Beowulf with Grendel the monster. I did not connect to the characters or the plot in this book at all. It was very slow. The horror elements that I thought would be in here were almost non-existent. The Grendel story was almost non-existent, and after reading, I immediately forgot most of what happened. It just was not interesting and didn't have any kind of lasting factor for me. The second book I read was an anthology of horror stories called The Big Bad. I have said this before in other videos, but I tend not to do well with short stories, and this anthology was no exception. I just don't understand the point of many of them. I don't see it. They just seem to be random scenes and meanderings that don't really say anything, and the supernatural elements or the characters themselves are not enough to make it memorable. However, there were three stories that I gave four or more stars to, and I individually rated all the stories with some brief reviews which you can find on Goodreads and I'll link to that below. The three stories that I highly recommend are The Wicked Witch and the White Knight by Emily Levin Leverett. I gave this 4.5 stars. I really like the way she tackled good versus evil and incorporated a lot of the traditional witch characters from fairy tales. The second story is Solomon by Darren Kennedy. I also gave this 4.5 stars. The tension in this short story was perfection. The story provides a perfect example of how to world build, especially since this story only takes place within one small room between two main characters, but the world building by incorporating discussions of outside characters was done really well, and the characters played each other as much as they played the reader, which was a dynamic I really enjoyed. And the last story that I recommend is The Seventh Trap by Adam Knight. I gave it four stars. It was really nicely constructed and I wanted more of the world, not in a bad way because I thought that it was lacking in the story, but because it was interesting enough that I would really like to see more in this world from this author. And that was my dive into horror for the month of October. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you read any good horror books last month. Thanks for joining me.